In this example, we'll use node voltage analysis method to find the voltage at nodes V1, V2, and V3. In this resistive circuit, all the values of R1 through R5 are given. The current source is also given, and the reference node has been chosen at the bottom end of the current source. To do this, we'll apply Kirchhoff's current loss at each of these three nodes, uh, then apply Ohm's law, put the uh, equations in standard form. We'll get three equations. We have three unknown nodes, and we'll solve those equations using uh, MATLAB. Uh, okay, let's get started with at node V1. <coughs> oh, before we do that, let's label all the currents. So I have all the currents labeled right here. The directions of the currents are drawn arbitrarily, and the rest of the things will follow based on this direction that's shown. Okay, now doing analysis at node V1, we see. I1 is leaving the node, I2 is leaving the node, and I4 is also leaving the node. So some of the voltages leaving that node is equal to some of the voltages coming in, which is nothing. So I1, I2 plus I4 should be equal to zero. Applying Ohm's law, we get for I, I1, we get V1 minus V3 divided by R1. For I2, we get V1 minus V2 divided by R2. And for I4, we get V1 minus zero divided by R4. Now putting this equation in a standard form, what we're going to do is basically collect the coefficients for V1, V2, V3 and put them in a standard form like this. Now let's take a look at node V2. At node V2, the current coming in is I2 from the current source IS and the current leaving that node is I3. So we get I2 plus IS is equal to I3. Now let's bring I3 on the left hand side and move IS to the right. So what we get is I2 minus I3 is equal to minus IS. Now on this equation, applying uh, Ohm's law again, I2 is V1 minus V2 divided by R2. I3 is V2 minus V3 divided by R3. And IS is given as 4 amps, but we'll just leave it as IS for now. So it's minus IS, right? Again, just like before, we'll try to collect all the terms for V1, V2, V3 and put it in a standard form. So far, we have two equations and three unknowns, V1, V2, V3. So let's use the third node, V3, to come up with the third expression. At node V3, we have I3 coming into the node, I1 also coming into the node, and I5 is exiting the node. So we have I1 plus I3 is equal to I5. <coughs> Let's bring I5 to the left hand side so we get I1 plus I3 minus I5 is equal to 0. Applying Ohm's law, we already saw I1 is V1 minus V3 divided by R1. We already saw I3 is V2 minus V3 divided by R3. And I5 is simply V3 minus 0 divided by R5. So let's write that down. Again, just like before, we'll collect the coefficients of V1, V2, V3 and put the equation in standard form. Now, once we have the equation in standard form, you can use your calculator to solve three simultaneous equations. These are linear equations, so three equations, three unknowns. In this uh, uh, method, I'm going to use MATLAB to do this to the solution. So I'm going to write these three equations in a matrix form. So we collect terms the coefficients of v1, v2, v3 and create a matrix like this. So this corresponds to this, this corresponds to the coefficient of v2 and this corresponds to the coefficient of v3 from the first equation. We have v1, v2, v3 as a vector right here. Similarly 1 over r2 is right here, 1 over r2. Coefficient of v2 is right here. Coefficient of v3 is right here. Similarly, this is here, coefficient of V2 is here, and the coefficient of V3 is here. And on the right hand side we have 0, so that's 0, minus IS, so minus IS, and 0, 0. So now we can use MATLAB. Okay, now on this circuit we have, we know the values of R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and IS. So from on this circuit, let's go back to where we were in terms of uh, the matrix. So this is our matrix. Now what I'm going to do is use replace R1 with all R2, R3, R4, and R5 
in these ma in this matrix right here. Replace the value of IS as being 4 amps in this matrix right here and use MATLAB. So let me bring up MATLAB. So I have MATLAB right here. So I'm going to bring MATLAB. And what I'm going to do is basically enter the values. I've already entered the values of the resistors. R is given as 1 or R1, R2, R4, uh, and then I have minus R2, minus R1. So I've entered the values of R. So that, that's what I get um, for this big matrix, this big matrix right here. Where's my MATLAB right here? Okay. Now we need to do y is equal to, let's enter 0. So I may, I'm, I'm entering this matrix right here, 0, uh, minus is, 0. There we go. So we've entered that. Now we can say v is equal to inverse of the r matrix times y. And what we're going to get is 13.9, so that will be v1 because that's what was on the top. 26.04 will be v2 because that's here. And 13.46 will be v3 because that's right here. So from this matrix, we get v1 equals minus equals 13.9, v2 is 26.4, 04, and v3 is 13.46.